Yes, sir. It's your boy JT, and I'm back again with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, pretty much we're going to be doing a pack opening, a training variety pack opening, and a pro star pack opening for the LT, the Super Bowl Part Two LTDs, and the um, career tribute AJ Green. So before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit the like button, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys continue to show love. I really do appreciate it. If you are new to the channel, uh, subscribe, like, drop a comment, let me know that you're new. Really do appreciate it. So, of course, today, um, February the 9th, uh, the Super Bowl Part 2 promo came out today. So, we do have f a total of, we got four LTD Super Bowl players, and then we have the AJ Green Career Tribute LTD that's in packs. So, um, before we get into it, I'm just going to check out the prices of these cards, because it's, it's a lot of LTDs in packs right now. And I think packs are, like, right now is a good time to pull packs, so we're going to do that. Um... So I'm gonna go to Super Bowl and we're just gonna go by that because I know it's tons of it's tons of them, literally. Um Super Bowl. Wait, the big game. What is that? Okay, here we go. So, okay, so we got Frank Clark. He's going for about around 500 k Bradbury is going for about around 675k. Um, um let's see who else? And where's the Jalen Hurts at? um jalen hurts where is he at because he's the other one yeah so jalen hurts is around 800k um if you do want to see the stats of these cards uh then go to my previous previous video and it'll go over all the stats of the cards and everything it got all the champions and everything but um that's the prices for that let me check out the is that the only prices the hype train what is that super bowl the hype train what is that Oh, and these are the other. So these are these are not a part of that. Okay, yeah. So these are some different. And then we got the career tribute AJ Green. Let me see if I can pull him up real quick. AJ Green. What is he going for? So he's going for about 1.4 mil. So he's actually pretty, pretty um expensive. You see the stats here. Um, yeah. So yeah, he's gonna be very, very expensive. 6'4. So it doesn't look like he's getting pulled that much. But we're gonna go ahead and do a pack open and see if we can pack any of these LTDs. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with some pro fantasy packs and I'm just going to like, I'm going to spend, I'm going to spend this whole 500 or some K on these pro fantasy packs. And then I'm going to turn around and then, and then after that, I'm going to, um, turn that, turn whatever I get in as far as out of these packs into training. And then we're going to do training rerolls to see if we can get anything. So we can do, we either pull some in the packs or we can pull some in training rerolls. So. Um, so I really haven't, I really haven't heard anything as we get a 91 there like that. Good start so far. I really haven't heard anything too crazy with the trainer rerolls today. As we get a 90 with that. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep everything that's, um, anything that's 93 and over for real, for real. Cause I think that would be the, the, the way to go. But yeah, um, I heard trainer rerolls were pretty decent today. Um, I really haven't heard any bad things today about them, so hopefully we can see if we can come out clutch. But yeah, so my not my last video, but my video before that when I uh, posted about me pulling the pulling the Tom Brady type shit. Yeah, so as you can see, like I said, I wasn't lying. I'm pretty much broke right now. Like I literally had to sell off players to even do this pack opening. I'm so broke right now; it's ridiculous. So I'm literally like, <laughs> I'm depending on pulling. I'm pulling that dag on AJ Green because literally I need him. I need him badly. Like when I tell you, I was literally what happened. I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened. So I was pulling the packs, and Tom Brady. I forgot when he came out, but he was in packs for like four, like three or four days. So I was pulling packs every single day. So I spent at first. If you go back to my other videos, you'll see that I, I in the beginning, I had about 4.5 million. I spent a good six million in packs itself throughout those three, four days. And I pulled them on the last day that he was in packs. And I pulled them one time. And I got I was so excited and I was relieved that I pulled them. And then something just I don't know what made me want to do this. I decided that I wanted to rip more packs to see if I could pull them again. And guess what? That was a huge failure because it turned out at the end I didn't even pull them again and I was completely broke. I was like, God damn it. This is just like, this is literally just like Tom Brady in real life. As soon as you think you got him, you don't got him. Every single time. 
as soon as you think you got him, he just slips the rug right under you every time. And I'm like, man, this is crazy. I'm like, I got the content, but at the same time, I'm broke as hell. It's like, ah, oh. it's like, okay, whatever. So that was my sacrifice that I had to do for you guys. So I hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed my little clip or whatever of me pulling that Tom Brady card. Cause I did not pull him last year when he was in PAX last year. So that is, so I was pretty, pretty damn hyped. But I, you know what I wish? I did pull him, but I wish I would have pulled him at his highest price. Cause he was going for like three, like three mil. I wish I would have pulled him then, but, but he was kind of flying out of packs on the last day. Cause they had the Twitch screen that gave this, this particular pack that was like a 94 plus and people were pulling B and D Tom, like freaking career tribute Tom Brady's in them. And I was like, what? And I'm like, man, I can't get one. And then I finally pulled them and I pulled that one. And then I was like, oh, I sold them. And then I kept going and then I was just done. After that, I was just done. <laughs> and I just cried myself to sleep, <laughs> literally. <laughs> but yeah, that's what happened with that. So that's why my coin, coin count is so low and my team is horrible right now. Let's get a 92 Julius Peppers. Do I want to keep that or do I want to quick sell that? Uh, I'm going to quick sell it. Because we're going to roll this train and see if we can get it back. But yeah, so that's what happened with that. So AJ Green is out. He looks he looks very, very rare too as well. So um, we got to see how lucky we get with that. But yeah, so that's what happened with the Tom Brady. But um, this week, what we got this week? So we got Super Bowl this week. I'm going to be very honest with you. I don't know if it's just me, but it's just like the hype around the Super Bowl is just not there. I just don't understand. It's just not there for me. It's not there. Like, typically around the Super Bowl, I'll be prepared and be ready. Like, oh, I want to, you know, Super Bowl parties, da-da-da. But this year, is just not, the energy is just not there. I don't know if it's because it's the Eagles. I don't know if it's because the Eagles are in the Super Bowl or, or what. But it's just, it's just like, it's not giving what it should be giving at all. Like, typically people, like, people, people will be, it'll be hype. When it comes to the networks and things, they'll be talking about the Super Bowl. And it'll be like the talk for two weeks. But... It really hasn't. Like, honestly, I've been more into the NBA than football, to be completely honest with you. I've been more in the NBA, especially with this trade trade deadline. If you don't know, I am a Lakers fan, so I'm a Cowboys and a Lakers fan. So I've been watching all the trades. And as far as KD getting sent to the Phoenix Suns, as far as my Lakers, we finally got as far as we finally got rid of rest. Westbrook and we upgraded in certain positions a bunch of trades Kyrie getting sent to the Mavs like I've been really into like basketball lately so the hype around the Super Bowl isn't really there for me I don't I don't know why but it's just not there but it is what it is so let's go ahead and get into these training uh this variety pack so we did those pro um elites we got we we did okay but let's see what we can get out of these variety packs see if we can make make our 500k back at least if we don't pull anything but let's go ahead and do that. All right, here, Chris got Chris Godwin. Yeah, but the Super Bowl is just, I don't understand. This year is just not, it's just not giving what it should be giving. Like typically I would hear people talking about Super Bowl parties, this and Super Bowl party that, and, and actually we'll be talking about the game, but like it, it's been more of everything else, more so than the Super Bowl. And then, and then apparently this whole thing came out about the script of like games being scripted and people views on football is kind of different now because but as far as everybody feel like it's rigged type shit. So it's it's just a very weird space right now. I don't understand it. It is very weird. But um but yeah, definitely we definitely we have the Super Bowl this weekend. So my predictions for the Super Bowl, let's see. Hmm. Of course, I don't want Philly to win. Of course, I don't want Philly to win, but I will say this. I think I think it's going to be a close game, but I'm going to say this. I'm going to take as we get a legendary strategy item, um, I'm going to take the Chiefs. And the reason why I'm gonna say the Chiefs is not just because I hate the freaking Eagles, it's logically when it comes to the quarterbacks. I trust Mahomes more than I trust Hurts. I'm gonna be very honest. Hurts has a good, a good surrounding cast. But if it comes down to Mahomes or Hurts, Mahomes is gonna win that game. Like, if it comes down to that. And just like it's just the talent of Mahomes himself. Like he barely has receivers and he's still he's still making plays. He still got his team to the Super Bowl. Like the man was on damn near one leg last game. Like literally throwing the ball on one leg. And literally he's just like 
he's he, he has the same fucking energy just like Tom Brady when it comes to Tom Brady when it comes to you can never count him out literally like when it comes to Patrick Mahomes he is the same way you can never count him out even when he's down three four five touchdowns he is so quick to come back and beat you every time every time so I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it like this I got the Chiefs winning and it's gonna be a close game but if it comes down like I said if it comes down to who can make the better throw or who can make the play I'm taking my homes all day I'm taking my homes so yeah so that is my prediction um what we get out of this training variety pack over we got about two 292 and then if, if we do the and if I sell that, that'll be another 100K. So we got so we got back about 400K. So we lost about 100K. But that's pretty much it for the video. We didn't get to pull anything really, but that's okay though. At least we tried. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe and let me know your predictions in the comments. Let me know who you think is going to win the Super Bowl, okay? All right, but we'll catch you guys on the next one.